Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So, without talking to the sign of Sagittarius, remember that the readings are in general, all of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Also, remember to not get caught up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. All right. Sagittarius, we're going to start off with some messages from the Oracle deck. And then we'll get some messages from the Tarot. What messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius, please? And thank you. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, please? Hmm, one more. What messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius? First card out. Okay. Community. A lot of people haven't been getting this. Receiving this card. Maybe it's something about you you guys involving others around you into what you're what you have going on. Into your journey, into your adventures. I see adventure at the bottom of the deck. Alright. Um, I do feel like it's good times with those in your community. Maybe a gathering. It may be a gathering. Okay. Some people may be traveling with the adventurous card. More messages, please, for Sagittarius. Flow. Go on with the flow. All right. Bottom of the deck, new beginnings. All right. Some of you guys may be moving to another area also. But you're ready to go off into this new venture. Some of you guys may be a little um, anxious when it comes down to going towards this new beginning. It could be taking a leap of faith. It could be a risk. But Source is basically saying go with the flow of the situation. If you need help from others, I guess go to the people that you know. Go to the people that you can relate to. Okay? Let's get some messages. Let's clarify these real quick. I'll read them at the end. More messages for, um, I almost called you cancer. Are you dealing with a cancer or a cancer in your chart? Sagittarius. More messages for Sagittarius. Well, you could like, cancer represents, uh, the chariot represents cancer in the tarot. So you could be moving forward, progressing, determined to move forward, even though it may be some chaos going on around you. Okay, maybe those in your community may be going against what you're doing or what you're trying to establish or um, bring together or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what you have going on, but let's get these clarified. So what's the community community card? Clarify community for our Sagittarius. Is we have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, gathering maybe, family, long-term energy, success, Two of Wands, taking a different approach towards success and wealth. Wheel of Fortune. Fortune, it changes. Things going in your favor. Clarify the Flow card. We have the Moon card. So, yeah, someone may be um, fearful of these new beginnings, of going, going with the flow in this situation, going towards this long-term stability, offering or accept, accepting this offer or opportunity growing learning the moon card is um fears illusions darkness like things that may be hidden i should say okay so seeing through the illusions needing to see through illusions needing to face fears queen of swords is here also with the moon card yeah cutting through the illusions aquarius libra gemini energy here with the queen of swords and then cancer pisces energy with the moon Someone may receive some clarity with the last full moon or maybe receiving clarity with the upcoming full moon, okay? In whatever situation. Maybe when it comes down to family or this new beginning. Mm -hmm. I see diligence also peeking out of this day. So making sure things are in order and taking your time, right? Clarify the moon card. Being careful the way you approach a situation. 
because you're, you're, you 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 want to make sure things are in order. Capricorn towards Virgo energy, Virgo energy with the uh, Knight of Pentacles, slow motion, but for show motion, Ace of Pentacles. Someone's going towards a new beginning, a new opportunity. Working on this, you may have been working on your, yeah, you've been working on your independence. Once again, establishing yourself because you're going towards long term energy. I feel this. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, 555 as I looked up. May not be on your end, but um, hmm. some shakeups, Tower Moment Energy. That may be a, um, a hit, or you may have went through this shift, and now you're going towards this new beginning, right? More messages for Sagittarius. Let me move this up. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. New passionate beginnings, ideas. Uh, more messages for um, the sign of, sign of Sagittarius, please, and thank you. More messages for the sign of Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Hierophant. Feeling backstabbed and betrayed, but Source is coming through. Like, I got you. It's, this is only a teaching and learning experience. Actually, I'm pulling you out. You know, it's not really me speak. It just came out like that. Actually, um, Source is really pulling you out of a painful cycle. Queen of Cups. Okay, maybe someone is learning how to love, express themselves, accept, accept love. Five of Swords. Maybe this is a willing. There's that Cancer energy. You remember I said something about Cancer. But Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with this Queen of Wands. But with the Five of Swords, a willingness to fight for something that you care for or have unconditional love for. Um, this could be a Mother energy. Follow your intuition. Let's move on. More messages for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. Taurus here with the um, higher thing card also. Eight of Pentacles. Just work towards it. Work towards it. Work on it. Focus. Focus. Pay attention. Be aware. Mm. The Empress. The Empress. Divine Feminine. Brand new beginnings. Okay, I, I'm hearing that song. I don't know if it's because I just said focus, focus. But um, somebody told me a long ago. Long ago. What's the name? Oh, it's just her. H-E-R. Focus on me. That's what I just heard, that little tune. But maybe it's a feminine energy asking this, or it could be a masculine saying this, but it doesn't matter. Brand new beginnings. Working on new beginnings. Working on uh, fertility, abundance. Investing. Or I should say, pulling back and wondering if you should continue to invest. Okay? Or you may have done this already, and now someone is thinking, like, well, maybe it's time to put some work in into this into this brand new beginning, into this, um, I don't know what you're creating. But let's see. More messages for Sagittarius. The Wheel of Fortune trying to come out. More messages for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. The Empress. We were just talking about her. Divine Feminine. Um, I guess that was coming out of my mouth. Venus Energy. I don't know why I'm saying this. Because I really don't really talk about I, I don't even really talk about that. But um Libra, Taurus, walking away from deceptive behavior, or this could be someone lying to oneself, or someone could be worried about something. Oh yeah, worried about that in the beginning. <laughs> right, we were talking about that earlier. Gaining a new perspective about pushing forward. There's that cherry energy I was discussing discussing earlier. More messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Two of Cups, I see a soulmate connection here. Or someone feel like feels as if they they were betrayed in a soulmate connection, okay? But what I really feel is that Source is leading you to a soulmate connection after um, ending a painful cycle, okay? The Page of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. This could be an offer, an offer uh, a passionate offer, just... Being ready, getting ready to go after something, okay? King of Swords, someone, yeah, someone has made their mind up. Receive some type of clarity. More messages for Sagittarius. I'll take it. Death card, change and transformation. Yeah, you're going through some changes, like big changes. There you go at the bottom of the deck. Temperance card, three of pentacles, collaboration. You're about to build. This is either you're building, on, working on the business, working on a relationship, you're collaborating. 
I feel collaboration. You could just be working with yourself, but I really f I feel collaboration. And I, I, I don't usually feel three people all of, all of the time with this energy, but I definitely feel, I don't really feel three people, but I just feel like a working together, a coming together, building something, establishing something. <laughs> the temperance card, basically uh, you, balance between the masculine and feminine energy, patience, nine of swords, patience. Be, okay, but don't worry so much. Don't worry so much. Ease your mind. That's all I'm getting here so far uh, on that. More messages. One more card here for the sign of Sagittarius. Queen of Wands, there you go. I like this. I knew this was going to be a good one. I had so many distractions before I was getting into this reading, Sagittarius. Like, I'm like, who's trying to wait? What? I can't get this message out. Something is trying to keep me from getting this message out. No, I'm going to get this message out. So look manifesting, creating, you taking care of yourself, okay? It could be another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius involved here. <clears throat> Someone is going towards pregnancy. Well, I, I've been feeling pregnancy with you guys lately because I think in the last reading I said something about that, but here with the Queen of Wands underneath this Empress, um... Someone that may be pregnant with new ideas and ready ready to birth them or just, I don't know why I feel this also, like, the idea just came, so it could just be, it, it's, even if it's not a, an actual baby, this is an embryo, okay? So, we still have to work at this with the Eight of Pentacles. Things haven't blossomed yet. We haven't even gotten to that point, though. We just placed the seed in the ground type energy. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's move on. The lover's card. <laughs> Making decisions or relationship. Moving towards something more peaceful. Okay. Sagittarius, you, you may have been in situations and relationships and uh, careers, whatever, where it was a lot of uh, battle, back and forth, bickering. Challenges, okay. Life could be challenging at times, but sometimes things sh should be at some type of ease. At at times, can can we can we get some time? Can we get some uh flow at some point? And I feel like here it is. But um, you're moving on. You're receiving a peaceful mind now. Now, moving into this next situation, into this next phase. All right. Even though you may be a little flustered. Flustered. But take your time. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I feel like you made a good decision here or the outcome can be great. Okay, that's right. Can be great if you put the right energy into it. The right attention, energy, uh, love, whatever into this situation. Let's get some clarifiers here. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, a few different messages here. Someone's creating boundaries. Someone has created boundaries after the energy of you being betrayed. You feel like you've been you you've suffered. Um, heavy thoughts. And constantly offered immaturity. Um, situations that always involved competition. Masculine energy. Here you go. Here I don't know who this is. Divine masculine emperor. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say that this person, this masculine energy. Remember, male or female. I don't know who this is had other suitors fighting for their attention and this person had to realize like it's time for me to create some boundaries towards these other individuals that's bringing this immature behavior and energy page of wands energy probably just want you know sex and you're not really wanting that in anymore you want the Emperor's energy. You want the Queen of Wands energy. You don't want a page. 
You want to be the Queen of Wands. You want to be the Empress. Um, with, without the competition. So I see you blocking out this energy. Taking leadership and controlling your life. Making oneself happy. Realizing your abundance. There you go. With the Knight of Wands. Taking a risk. Um, or making a move to take a different approach on a situation. Clarify the hyphen. I'm trying to tell y'all um, these distractions. This has to be a good one, obviously. We're not even finished. I wanted to um, clarify every single one of these, but now I'm getting these dis distractions in my background. No, you probably cannot hear it, but I definitely can. Sensitive to the sounds. Clarify the hyphen, please. So we have the page of pentacles. And we have the two of pentacles. Another immature offer. Okay, it could be growth, 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 growth. Or, yeah, growth. There we go. <laughs> the king of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Someone was out of balance and needs to create, needed to create balance, and balance in their lives. Because someone was coming off immature, coming off with this Page of Pentacles energy, that's what they was offering, or that's what you were offering, whatever it was. The source was teach, uh, putting you through this teaching and learning experience for, for this energy to come forward instead of a Page of Pentacles energy or a Page of Wands energy. This is someone who is more grounded. So this is someone who is more stable and secure in what they have and what and who they are. Um, they have built their, built their wealth. Yeah. But um, there was some indecisiveness behind this person. I see. That's why they had to create some type of balance. And now I'm guessing you or this person is ready to put in some type of work or that you've been working on yourself or something. What's the Eight of Pentacles? I'm taking it. The Fool. Working on taking this leap of faith. Working on this new beginning. Working on going towards new life. New energy. Back at the bottom of the deck, the five of wands, the emperor. This is could this could be someone willing to fight here, willing to comp compete. Someone is like, I would do what it takes, like whatever this is. Clarify the emperor, empress, clarify the empress. There you go. Someone is ready to go towards their empress. Someone is wet, ready to um, get a could be ready to get away. Okay, an emperor is ready to get away. This is, hmm, hold on, wait, on the top of this, I really feel like this is you. Someone ready for some changes, ready to see your ships come in, don't want to give up. You want fun and excitement in your life, right? Someone may be coming towards you quick, quickly or vice versa. What's the Two of Cups? No. What's the Two of Cups? Clarify the Two of Cups. <laughs> wow, I haven't had one of these readings in a while. Divine Masculine Energy. With this Divine Feminine. This is someone who's balanced now. I really feel like if this is just yourself, this is about, if this is just about you, okay? And no one else is involved. This is you coming in tune with yourself. Being balanced. Knowing where to go. Knowing when to pull. Knowing, knowing with, when to... Um, knowing when to actually... How do I want to explain this? Hold on, you guys. I, I don't know why I want to get this completely or it's in, in technical terms or whatever. But anyways... Knowing when to build and actually knowing when to dream or uh, when to create. Yeah, the, the magician. Ooh, someone may be manifest. Uh, someone from the past or children. Happiness. Some innocence. Childlike energy that's coming, coming up, okay? But creation, beautiful creations and... Um, a mature man and a mature woman coming together to create this this foundation that no one could basically break down or tear down. That's what I'm getting here. 
someone knows that they're going through these changes that yes is going to take a lot like uh, some work a lot of work in order to keep this together but once again i think i said this earlier if you put in the work it's going to be like all i heard was outstanding it's going to be amazing what's the death card The chariot card comes out, the queen of pentacles comes out, and the six of pentacles. Yeah. Progressing. Going towards I don't know why I'm hearing this now or receiving this now. Some of you guys may be ending a relationship for some odd reason, but that's not for everyone. Maybe leaving a relationship. Oh, no. Trying to avoid a person from leaving. Okay. That's what I'm receiving. So, maybe someone trying to avoid you from leaving or, or uh, to keep or vice versa. However it is. To keep you from leaving or you trying to keep another from leaving. Whatever this is. What, from ending the situation completely. But instead of ending it, you just transform the situation. You just um, go through this rebirth situation. All right. Between you and your person, you and your business, whoever you like, whatever you're building here, you're going towards an, uh, an equal give and take situation, being open and having faith. But needing to see some through lies and deception and illusions, though, for sure. I don't know what that's about, but I'm glad it's not out here. Clarify this three of pentacles. Like, I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. Someone broke someone's heart. I don't love that. Hold on. Someone broke someone's heart. Someone's heart has been broken in the past. Someone's heart was broken. Okay, everyone's heart gets broken from time to time, but we get it together. And that's when you know, like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. You, you, you work. You work all the time. You come through. You show me love. That's how I could love others. You know, this love situation is possible because you, like, because you realize that a heart can be mended, okay? Whatever. I said all of that for whatever reason. But look, the King of Pentacles and this Three of Swords, clarifying this Three of Pentacles. You remember what I was saying collaborating, building something, working together, mending of a situation. Someone is trying to work something out here. I seen that Six of Cups. This is this definitely may be a soulmate from the past. Or a past life soulmate like energy where you feel like you know you've known this person and it could have been um you, you've met quick you've met it was like the connection was quick you you, you guys uh, connected real quick and um but it may have been a separation at some time but now in the separation could have been because someone was heartbroken and i'm guessing the other individual i don't know someone's heart was broken and now someone's trying to mend the situation by putting in work Okay, that's why I see with that. Even if it's business, someone could have betrayed them and said, you know what, forget it. I don't want to invest into the situation anymore. And someone was hurt like, dig, I thought we was going to do this. I thought we was going to make this work. You betrayed me. I could have been working with someone else or something like that. Anything, okay? So it can't resonate. But what's beautiful is that we have the queen and the king of pentacles out here. The emperor and the empress. I like that. I like that. That's a strong divine connection. You guys putting in work, willing to put in the work, grounded, faithful, I'm going to say loyal, committed, all of that. Clarify the queen of wands. What was that at the bottom of the deck, though? The nine, nine of wands. Don't give up. Don't give up on your success. <laughs> there he is, the king of wands. There you go. It's going to be the masculine energy who causes this tower moment. Could be, could be a Leo here, but let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. 
Oh yeah, someone's getting justice here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is you, of course. Or another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Someone's getting justice in this situation. Things are becoming balanced. Someone understands mending of a situation. Um, someone's trying to work it, once again, trying to work it out. Gain a new perspective about maybe someone being stuck, trapped in their head, self-imposed in prison there. Lack thereof energy. Communication. Um, pushing forward. Okay, that's the energy that kept it stuck. But things are about to get better in this situation, I believe. So, cold, detached energy, the lack of clarity, kept a situation off. All right. Wow. I didn't think this was going to be that long. Clarify the Emperor card. The Four of Wands. <laughs> I don't want to tell the secrets, but look. I haven't seen one of these in so long. But with the four of wands here, I really feel like Swords brought this together. This has been worked on for a little while. And it may have been a lot of pain attached to this. But once again, Swords can heal and bring love into a situation. I seen that Queen of Cups earlier, unconditional love. Someone has unconditional love. High priest is following in your intuition about maybe being open towards the opportunity. Someone wants to build. I already said that. I felt that four of wands energy before it came out. I didn't even see it. And this the um this masculine energy is gonna be the one who 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 um is gonna he's gonna be putting in that work. He or she is gonna be putting in that work. The masculine energy is going to be uh, is going to approach, is going to make the move, is ready. This feminine energy, I feel like this feminine energy just needs to go with the flow. That's why the Knight of Wands is there. Go with the flow, baby. Clarify the chariot card. I didn't even clarify the full card. I'm going to go back up. The Knight of Pentacles. Go. Yo. This is so grounded. <laughs> this is so grounded and rooted. I like this. Super down to earth. But yet, of course, it's fiery and passion in this situation. Because you guys are fire energies. I like this, Sag. Don't give up on your success. Building blocks, building blocks, building blocks. You have what it takes. <laughs> building blocks. You, you you taking it slow, just building, doing everything in order. I don't know. Some of you could be building a house. You building, baby. Building. Clarify the justice card. The justice card. Yeah, moving on. Moving on. Clear, getting, your, getting a clear head. Peaceful mind. Receiving the justice that you deserve. Manifesting. Trying to hold on to something. Someone's probably trying to keep on hold hold on to an opportunity. But or 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 someone may be holding back a little bit from this offer, this opportunity. Thinking about it. Thinking about it long and hard. Trying to control one's emotions here. Probably not showing it much, but I feel like the feelings are there. I don't know what this. This is what it's showing me. It's definitely feelings here or um this connection. To build something is definitely like sourcing this down here. Like, go on here and do that. Or brought it together. Mm, what's this? What's the full card? The Five of Cups. Someone's worried. Worried. Oh, someone may be worried about being rejected. No, someone is thinking about all of... <laughs> Excuse me. I don't mean to, to, to laugh. But all of the bad... Cups had to, had the nerve to come out. I wouldn't necessarily say bad, but say negative here. Hmm. I mean, you could be rejecting here, but these are like illu illusions. Could be options, or whatever. But different options that you don't know what to choose. What to choose. Four of Cups rejecting. Need to appreciate what you have. And then the Eight of Cups walking away from people, place things they do not serve you. Which is the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Someone may be upset that they have to do that. Walk away from people, place things that do not serve them. Reject some energies. It's no longer for them. Or need to gain a new perspective about being in their head, all in their head, about being left in the cold, left out in the cold in this situation. Again, 
excuse me, when I feel like with the justice card, people are someone trying to make the situation right. Okay. But someone is a little afraid. Someone could feel as if the Two of Cups energy isn't. That's what that is. And then we have the Two of Cups right there. Someone feels as if the love isn't there. The connection isn't there. But it's there. That's only an illusion. That's confusion. Seven of Cups energy. So now I'm going to read, uh, read you guys one of these oracles. Maybe both. Let's read it and see. Community. Support is all around you, even if you are not consciously aware of it. Allow yourself to be supported. Give encouragement to others. The more you allow yourself to be supported, the more your dreams can come true. If you believe that you have to do it all alone, you will. Your your true family is not just blood relationships. Sometimes the strongest, fa strongest family ties are friends. Who you, who you know, excuse me, who know who you are. Sometimes they are your ancestors and soul family who reside in spirit. This card speaks of finding your community and your people. It is a card of remembering that your people are at your side. Believing, believing in you, loving you, and stranding. Sh stranding? I think that's supposed to be. And standing strong beside you. <laughs> Call on your community and ask for their assistance. They are only a thought away. It's okay. People mess up. That's fine. But that's definitely supposed to be standing. You said stranding. Whatever. Anyways, we have flow. There are times to hold on tight to the shore. And there are times to enter the flow. Notice where life is going and move in that direction. Okay. Watch, watch for signs and follow them. Don't resist. When you go with the flow, your life force expands and healing on all levels abounds. This is also the time to release old, limiting patterns, forgive, and let go of the need to be right about your beliefs. If you aren't feeling the smooth, the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're being self-critical or judgmental. When you enter the flow with gratitude and love, you will find blessings surrounding you. You will enter into a state of grace and healing will abound. I really feel like I want to read New Beginnings at the bottom of the deck also for whatever our reason. Um, and then I'll just leave it here. New Beginnings. It says, your life is expanding in profound and wondrous ways. Your new, new experiences and ideas are emerging. Vitality and wide open opportunities are at hand. Seize the day. This is the perfect time to begin that new project or give birth to, to an emerging idea. Timing is everything and the time is now. Anything is ever, and, and everything is possible. Good fortune awaits you. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the young, yang principle expanding power and activity you are radiant and luminous there is a goal is there is a glow within you that can be felt by all sag that was your reading i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave your like shares all of that good stuff i love you i love you i love you and i'll see you guys next time bye